Da. Come, Ralph. Hey, I'm sorry about my appearance. It's very hot today, and I, I didn't know it would be so hot on the road. Of course, the rental cars, they don't give you any air conditioning, do they? I learned more English. You want tea? Iced tea? That sounds like heaven. I don't know how you get internet around here. I, I didn't see too many phone lines on the way up. Yeah? Internet. I don't know how you get it up here. I guess maybe satellite or something. Anyway, I'm just glad I didn't get lost. I've been looking forward to this day for a hell of a long time. like movies, Ralph. TV shows. Do not be afraid to nod or shake your head. We are just talking. When we are not talking, believe me, you will know it. So, do you like movies? Good, good. You see, simple. We have just done what they do in all the TV shows. We establish trust. Communication. You are thinking the answer I want to hear, and you are giving it to me. That is smart. <sighs> TV shows, movies, they are great training. Unfortunately, they also train the bad guys, too. <laughs> Calm down, Ralph. Ralph. Calm down. I barely touched you with that thing. Calm down. Good. You are afraid, right? You should be. Let's not kid each other. I can hand you all kinds of nonsense about how safe you are and how I'm not going to hurt you and blah blah blah. I could tell you, Ralph, you have not seen my face. You are okay. <laughs> but we both know that is a uh, horseshit. You are in foreign country. You are blindfolded and you have a burn on your face, so... You are not okay, are you? You know you are in big shit. That's good. Because you are. I think uh, Dante said it best. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. That is what you must do, Ralph. No hope. Get it out of your head. If you don't get it out of your head, I will pull out your toenails with a pair of vice grips until you can do handstands, okay? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take off that gag. Naturally, if you scream, I will kill you. No, not because the police will come, but because it means that you are an idiot. Be sensible. We're in the middle of nowhere out here, right? Not right now or I will... All right, the gag is coming off. Don't say a thing until I tell you. Are you thirsty? You can answer that. Yes. Get him some water. Better? Yes. Good. That does not mean that we are friends. Now, this is very, very important. Your future depends on this, so listen closely. I need the numbers, Ralph. Numbers? Yes. I need the numbers. You know how this works, Ralph. I don't know what you mean. Should I burn you again? No. 
then give me the numbers. I don't have any numbers. <coughs> Please. Don't hit me. Hit them again. <coughs> Please. Give me the numbers, Ralph. I'm an American citizen. The numbers. People will pay highly for... You are going to give me the numbers. Eventually, you must. Everyone does. I once had a man ask me to rape his sister. I'm serious. He wanted me to do anything. Anything to his sister. Anything at all. Just so I would not touch him anymore. I found it morbidly uh, fascinating. Please, people will pay. Please. You've been a bad boy your whole life. No one gives shit about you, do they? They do. Name one. <laughs> That's right. You think it's a mistake you're in that chair, Ralph? You think we pick Mr. Wonderful by accident, huh? I told you not to be an idiot. Don't accuse me of being one too. Now the numbers. I don't, I don't know what you're talking Pain, about. Pain, Ralph, breaks everyone. Sooner or later. The numbers. I'm tired of fucking around, Ralph. Remember the vice grips? Oh. Ralph, it was your choice. else touch the stove. Hey, Mo. Where's my present? Oh, you're so sentimental. <laughs> Raising you destroyed sentiment. Your brother was no better. I have no idea where we got it from. Speak his name and you're dead. Uh, I don't suppose she's he called. Uh, they've been divorced for 14 years, but why would he call? I don't know. Mel, you live in a dream world. You know, she doesn't want him to call. And neither do I. You don't fuck him. He hasn't answered his phone in a few days. What? He's got another one. Bullshit. I swear to God. Uncle Henry told me. He said he ran into him at the mall. Dad wouldn't shut up about this new break he was getting. Like, it would be new for him to find another vagina. We well, all got it coming, you know. Loneliness. Sure, sure. Well, some harder than others, God willing. Hey, 
Hey. Hey, what? You boys from around here? Oh, fuck you, lady. If I'm a lady, that's no way to talk to me, is it? What do you want? You heard of Crystal Man? Yeah, so what? I want to meet him. Bitch, you crazy. He don't want to meet you. You work for some magazine or something? Or something. Tell me where to find him and I'll give you $20. Go in here, fifth floor. I don't know which room. 20 and no 20, if you take a picture of us, I'll fucking kill you. <sighs> what do you want? You fuck what she wants, let's have the camera. I'm looking for the guy they call Crystal Man. <laughs> Let's just do it, man. I have some information for him. If you touch me, he'll be pissed. You a cop? No. What are you then? I'm a photojournalist. <laughs> a, f a, f a photo what? I take pictures for a living. Hey, somebody's gotta do it, I guess. What's your name? Melissa Voiley. A wop. Fucking grease balls don't belong around here. Can you take me to Crystal Man or no? Shit, this guy's costing me a fortune, man. Find out how the hell he's getting away with it. And tell Johnny that 10% is too high. Bring it down to 8 and we can talk turkey, alright? Alright. Crack hat's using a scrap sheet. She, I graduated from USC. This beats architecture cash any day. How you been? Fine. When we met, I figured you for a nice apartment in Santa Monica. Your address was bogus. Man, the guys who get caught are the ones who live in Beverly Hills and drive a Mercedes. <laughs> Fuck, I own a Chrysler. Besides, if you were as good as you said you were, you would have found me. Touche. So you got them? Yeah. The memory card is inside. Yours to keep. That bitch. Yeah. That damn bitch. Yeah, sorry. Oh, she won't even let me do that to her. Your money's in the envelope. I threw in a tip. I won't bother to say you forget where I live. I never divulge a source. <laughs> Is that the photojournalist talking or the ambulance chaser? <laughs> Where'd you get these pictures? He lives in Bel Air. I'll let you find out the rest in case... Yeah, okay, okay. Bel Air. You're good. You need a job, you come and see me. That National Geographic crap can't be paying the bills. Why do you think I'm sitting here? Hello, I'm not at home. Please leave a message. Dad, it's Mel. Um, making sure we're on for two o'clock? Bye. All this? I don't know. They told us to come at 10 in the morning. The paperwork's all good. Hey, what's the problem? Um, this is, um, well, was my father's house. Well, he cleared out. I gotta get back to work. Hey, I'm sorry. Lady, look, you said your father wasn't close to anybody in your family, and he, so he didn't leave a note when he took off. It happens all the time. Come on. My friends at the paper give me more info than you. Well, he's over 60, he's retired, he's wealthy. I mean, how many times did you say he was divorced? Seven. Seven. Christ, where did he find the time? He made his own time. I mean, the house... The, uh, the real estate agent says it was all legit. Who sells their house through a fax? 
It happens, I'm telling you. I mean, more than you think. He wanted to scram, and with seven ex-wives in the city, I'm surprised he waited so long. My dad and I aren't close, but he's still my dad. And I'm telling you, he wouldn't have sold a house. Not, not like that. I'll tell you what. You find something for me to go on. Pfft, the brush off. Hang on, hang on, all right. Anything that looks suspicious, and I'll look into it, you know. As it stands, it's a no-go. He didn't have Alzheimer's. He's been a lady killer all his life. He's got cash. Ms. Wiley, we don't chase grown men around the block without evidence of a crime. That's simple. You're the unofficial snoop. You want to snoop, snoop. I don't see the problem. Just think for a minute, okay? Car gone. House sold. He hasn't been to his usual bars and clubs. You can't possibly have visited all of them. None of his ex-wives have heard from him. You know that's weird. Look, it's always weird. No chance he would leave town without telling at least one. How do you know he left town? It's the only way. Somebody would have seen him. Well, I don't really give a shit. He's a womanizer, a drunk, and a son of a bitch for what he did to Mom. Period. I'm worried about him. Don't come crying to me when you find him in the arms of some ditz in Tijuana. We've got it that bad for him, huh? I never understood why you didn't. I don't know. He's blood, Anthony. He's our father. Not mine. I'm going to find out where he went. After that, whatever. You're gonna run around looking for him and lose your focus. Screw up your job and whatever else. And when you find his ass, he's just gonna wonder what the hell you're doing in his doorway. And then he'll be gone again. Hey, what was this? 21st. Guy never knew what hit him. Hmm. That might be a bit gory. If you bleed, it leaves, right? This is a family paper. This one. I'll buy this one. Just the one? Mel, I got more than I can handle. All right. What's the matter? You look kind of down. How would you go about finding somebody? I would use the phone book. Somebody who's missing. It sounds like a piece. What are you working? It's personal. Who is it? Mike. <laughs> it's a piece, damn you. Fine, fine. But I want first dibs, okay? Sure. All right, well, finding somebody is easy. You just follow the money. What do you mean? Look into the bank records. Unless the guy's a bum, he has cash. Find out where he's spending it or where it's gone. You'll find him. You can't move a nickel without somebody knowing. And that someone just going to cut up the info, right? Photo editor. What? Bullshit. Hey, hang on a sec. Mel, the best guy in town. Top notch. And think about that Mexico thing. Um, excuse me? Who are you? Are you, um, David Grange, the identity consultant? Who wants to know? My name is Melissa. Mike at the paper sent me over. You know Mike? Yes. What's his last name? Mims. His date of birth? Kid, how the hell would I know? Do you want to talk or play games all day? Do you have a boyfriend? It's none of your business. I could find out. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I used to really have it with the girls in high school. I know it doesn't look like much. You live on your own? My sister comes by now and again to bug my ass. This house pretty much sucks, but, but this is where the money goes. Mm, what exactly is an identity consultant? You know when the newspapers say anonymous source? Yeah. I'm one of the guys that makes them unanonymous. To the cops? You kidding? To the other papers. You're an identity thief. Oh, ID procurement. I'm retired. I'm on parole. Looks like it's working. <laughs> so who are we looking for? Ralph Modari. M-A-L-D-A-R-I. Irish, huh? Middle name? Francis. Oh, bummer. Age? I need a month and date. May, um, 16th? Who is this guy? Never mind. Bet he's your father. This him? Yes. When was the last time you saw him? 
Two weeks, but he's been gone about five days. Okay. Uh, airline tickets on American Express. Bought them two weeks ago. To where? Patience, patience. Why did you go to prison? I got caught going through somebody's garbage. You go through people's trash? Credit applications. You get social security numbers to go with them, and then you're in the money. And that led them here, which led to a bogus credit card. Yeah. I was sloppy. You sure you don't have a boyfriend? This basement gets kind of lonely. Are you his only daughter? Knock it off. I'm, um, I'm serious. Yes. Lissa. Nope. Lissa. Melly. Nope. Um, try Melly with an I. Bingo. That must make you feel all warm and fuzzy. Well, he hasn't checked his mail in three days. A lot of traffic in the past month from somebody named Vladimir, uh, starting writing back and forth three months ago. Do you know her? No. Okay, so Vladimir, what can you tell us? Let's try extension number one. Uh-oh. Um, foreign correspondence? Dating service. Russian bride stuff. Did you know he was into this thing? No. Uh, it goes on a lot. You wouldn't believe what I see. Just open the damn emails and tell me where he is. For what it's worth, he sounded pretty happy in those emails. Maybe he'll be in touch. Thanks. What do I owe you? Five thousand dollars. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, how about dinner? Not today, David. Dave, please, please, please. Uh, this one's free. The next one is at least lunch, all right? here in the city, right? Well, the website said this was your contact number. Oh, don't hand me that confidentiality crap. I want to get a message to someone. That's none of your business. Listen! Look, they only talk to men. Oh, for Christ's sake. It sounds legit. Uh, tons of places like this. They won't let me make contact. Because they don't have to. Women may not like it, but this kind of thing... Give me the address. Look. Give it to me. I freelance for the papers. I'll find something, anything. A drunk cop, a brutality, something. Blow it up into a nice juicy story right here in your division. Oh, now you're blackmailing police officer. I'm trying to find my father. Ah, fuck it. Don't cause too much trouble, okay? Kinky stuff. Kinky how? Asians, you know? That isn't my thing. I, I, I was just thinking about taking a trip to Estonia or somewhere. Why? None of your business. You don't have my picture, do you?
she's not feeling too good. All right, bitch. No shape to go out. Jesus, what happened to you? I fell. My mom used to say that after my dad got drunk. Come in. Nice prints. I saw that one. Pretty good. What's this about, David? Right, prints. Well, after you left, I did some checking on our friends and foreign correspondents. It isn't pretty. I know. You went to see them? Jesus. Alright, well, so I go online and I hack into their database. I access some kind of bogus membership file. Normal, lonely guy shit. So I go a little further and I notice something. Tell me what you see. Scroll down if you want to. What's the common denominator in this file? They all brag about their net worth. Yeah, lots of cash, but... No dependents. Exactly. All of the guys in this file have cash, and all of them are absolutely alone, which is probably why they're on this site in the first place. So? So, I act like a brilliant man that I am, and I go into their credit histories at random. Guess what? None of these guys has paid off their visa bills in, like, forever. They all went to St. Petersburg, with the exception of these two dudes who ended up in Manila for some reason. I can't figure that one out, but... David. Right, right. So point is, this list goes back four years. Four friggin' years! Your dad and some guy named Turner are the latest, and not one of them has used their credit card since they left. Haven't paid it, haven't used it, not on. Some of the cards are expired, so I dig some more. The phone company hasn't heard from them, the tax man, you name it. Look, cracking banks is tough shit, but I'm willing to bet... Their accounts are bone dry. They're just gone. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. What? Someone just found out we were looking at them. They'll know who you are now. What are you saying? I don't know. The facts are the facts, right? They all went to the same place, and they all haven't been active since they left. You mean they're dead? I didn't say that. I don't know. But this is my line of work. Killing people? No, ripping people off. It's a beautiful scam. You get them in a foreign country with jack shit laws and screw them. No dependents, nobody worried. Old guys with no one to complain. The cops over here wouldn't even know about it. Take it right here. You're sure that you want to do this? Yes, make it happen. I need to make a couple calls. Well, what name should I pick? <sighs> um, something lon lonely. Hello yourself, young lady. Nothing. Just straightening something out. I need to know if you have any connections in Russia. I got connections all over the place. You want a cell phone? This is legit. I might need help while I'm over there. Girl, what the hell are you going to Russia for? Can someone help me or not? What was that? Hey, cool it for a minute. I'm on the phone. What, are you covering a war or something? Something like that. I may need someone to show me around St. Petersburg. I know some people in good old Leningrad. <laughs> Wouldn't trust them with my ass, though. They're uh, in an interesting business. Take this number. You got a problem, you get in touch, but no promises. He's one of the bigger boys in town. Okay. They can't see you, right? My stuff's a little more sophisticated than yours. You're sure, right? I mean, if they went after your pop, it means he wasn't around much for you. What do you owe him? I'm standing here, aren't I?
Croydon, then Red Hill, Gatwick Airport, Three Bridges, Baldcombe, Hayward Heath, Wimblesfield, Burgess Hill, Athens, Preston Park, and Brighton. Customers. All right, David, what have you got? Hey! Don't take her picture. Why not? She's sizing you up. They're not children, born thieves. Oh. Still better than being a homie cripple. I'm Babel. I'm Mel. I know. Only a damned American would meet me here with a lens that big. So, what can I do for you? Your call was uh, cryptic. Is there somewhere we can talk? Not until I know what you want. I know Alvin, but not well enough to trust his friends. Alvin? Though the name embarrasses him for some reason. <laughs> well... I'm looking for someone. Call the police. It will not help, but you never know. And I may need a gun. Uh, now we're talking the language I understand. The Russian bride trade is tame today. I was in on it some time ago. Now the market has hit what your stockbrokers would call a lower low. No money. This isn't a legitimate trader. Show me one that is. This person you're looking for must have been quite stupid. He was, um... Always looking for the next good thing. Hmm. I can see why you'd be attracted to a Russian. First, they're very, very pretty. Malnourishment helps. Second, they seem to be quite docile. You know, willing to do anything to get a green card. Your English is very good. So why do you think that I can help you? I want someone to show me where these people are. I want someone discreet. Oh, I am discreet. I also do not help people for free. But then maybe there is something that you can do for me. Like what? Something will come to me. I'm not going to carry heroin back to the States for you or anything. You should go home, Mel. But that's not going to happen, and don't call me that. I suppose this person was close to you. Family, friend. It doesn't matter. You're well-traveled, you've seen people shot, taken pictures of all kinds of human garbage. That garbage is as nothing to what you see here. Problem is, once you're in it, you're in it. There's no going back from that. Are you trying to frighten me? If you aren't frightened already, you're a fool. This bride thing, that, that can't be all it is. But now your friend's dead. You won't find him. And the woman who enticed him, probably in the Bosnian whorehouse. Human traffic pays big money. But you need stomach for it. Think. When was the last time you saw a whore over 40? Now, you're, you're not up to this. Go home. May I? Of course. You think I'm going to get hurt or killed or that I'm a coward? Look, he doesn't. I'm going to tell you right now that I am not leaving. Whether you help me or, or not, so it's... It's on your conscience if I wind up dead in the gutter, isn't it? What makes... I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. You're a con artist, a drug dealer, a porn distributor, whatever, I don't care. 
You've got to know that a dead American woman with ties to the press is a big deal. If she winds up dead in your backyard, it can't do you any good. I mean, the State Department, the New York Times, the Christians, the pressure. Maybe your cops might actually get off their ass and throw them a bone or two. This is their name and website. They're based in St. Petersburg. I can't pay you, but I want you to take me to them. Porn king. A drug dealer. You have to have a complete lack of soul for it. Most days, it's just kidnapping for these guys. Take out an ad for an au pair, you get her, come to a house in Sweden, drug her, transport her to Russia, you sell her off. Anyway, as for your friend, he fell for a very old trick. Bait and switch. The woman he communicated with it does not exist, of course. Her name is Vladimira. Doesn't matter. There's no such person. I am uh, most surprised that you are here. They always take someone that has no family, no friends. They, in fact, they do a very extensive background check. And then they, they fleece them. That's them. They have ten different websites. They advertise in a few papers. How do you know them? I told you, I was in their line of work. But now I'm purely legal. Pottery, if you can believe. Please. Well, yeah, sometimes there is something in the pottery. But, you know, I saw where this road was heading, and it's, it's travel of the biggest kind. We have to go now. They'll be curious about this car. I, I've helped you. If you want to dig deeper, you'll have to do it alone. Este predinion, știi ce?
este pe din eu, nu știi ce cum e. Who are you? You speak English. I'm Danish. My name is Melissa. Do you have a phone? I'm, I'm looking for my father. Are you fucking serious? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Get out before I call them and they rip your damn head off. My father got involved in some sort of scam. I have the night off. First night in 15 days. He isn't banging me tonight. Go to another room. You don't understand. Stupid bitch. I don't understand. Don't you know where you are? They're going to find you. They're going to put you to work. A nice ass like yours. I don't understand. Listen to me. Get out. Please, I'm not trying to make things hard on you. I already killed somebody. One of ten. A Russian? My father came here to meet someone in, in St. Petersburg. Someone named Vladimira. And he's disappeared. It was a scam of some sort. A, a con game. Go on. I asked someone to bring me to the place that owns the website. And now I... Mine was Casino Dealer. What? I came because I got offered a job to be a casino dealer. I took a two-week course dealing 21, and I answered an advertisement. A chance to travel, yeah? They picked me up at the airport. I called my mother to say that everything was fine. was seven months ago. I haven't talked to her since. You're a prisoner. I'm a whore. A filthy whore. No one comes to look for Andrea. But you come to look for your father. A man that does this shit to me. He wanted to get married. Yes. They do that here. Men who buy the cow rather than rent the milk. But the joke is on them because they end up with the fucking Baltic. I want your phone. In, in a minute. I want your phone now. Please. Seven months, Mel. I don't care what you want. You're the first person I've seen in almost a year that hasn't tried to rape me or beat me. I'm not letting you get away without helping me. I will help you. I will. But can you help me? He's dead. Look at it. He's dead, I said. Look. He was here, not in grave shape when I saw him. Hurt? How? Beaten. Tell me everything you know. First, you get me out of here. I will, but I have to get more people, make a plan. More people? Like who? The police? They are my best customers. Andrea! I won't let you go. I call for them, or I kill you. They're myself. But I won't let you go without taking me with you. <laughs> How many of them? I don't know. Lots. They will be making rounds soon. Someone at the door? Always. The drunken asshole won't find days in the morning. Olga asks no questions. She's too stoned. Put them on. If you have to, just roll up the cuffs. We never get past them. We just need to get close. Once we're in the streets, we'll make it work. Can you do this? Have you ever used a gun before? Just shut up. Let's just go. Stay within ten inches of me the whole time. No matter what happens. Yeah, I need you blue. Tell him to get out of the way. Tell him to get out of the fucking way. 
I did. Tell him I meant it. Shoot him. Shoot him. Damn you, shoot him. Run. Run. Slow down. Slow down. We have to get out of here. They come outside and see us running, they'll kill us. Just, just walk. Trust me. Fall into my arms. What? You're drunk. Just do it now. The next street. We turn right. Keep, keep leaning against me. You're shaking. Fuck! Keep your head down. Don't look. Just walk. Motherfucker, motherfucker! Stop it. Motherfucker! S stop it. Andrea. Andrea. He's dead. He's dead, baby. He's dead. Christ, Mel, where the hell have you been? I've been calling you all night. I kept the ringer off. I didn't want you I'm calling in the middle of something. What have you got? What haven't I got? We're in like Flynn, little lady. Give it to me in plain English. All right, well, as near as I can figure, the guy you're looking for is Hans Dieter, ex GRU guy from the old days. He got busted selling weapons in Poland. Did five years. Then he starts running some sort of dating service for foreigners. 
Doesn't seem like the type, right? What else? I went to a whorehouse last night. Awesome. Go cool it. There's maybe a dozen women living there, like a prison. At least a few of them are foreign nationals, all kidnapped. There's a definite connection between that place and this foreign correspondence thing. This Hans guy trips in and out of the States, Germany, England, and Russia. Is he here now? I don't know. I have to tell you, they are damn meticulous. I's are dotted, T's crossed. You better be careful. They, they probably don't miss much. We're talking about extortion, kidnapping, human trafficking. These are badass dudes. There's some UN people over there trying to rescue people and shit, but they end up with squat. St. Petersburg is all mobbed up, ex-KGB for the most part. What were you trying to call me for? Oh, our project. It worked. Tomorrow. Well, I guess this afternoon for you. Um, they're expecting Harold Whitaker to make an appearance. Mm, stand fast. Yeah, I had them believe he was already in the country. They very quickly wanted to meet with him. I don't know if that's good or bad. You mean they have a room for him now? Yeah, or they're suspicious. Get a hold of these UN people. Start dropping hints. Being pencil pushers, they might not do shit. I'll tell you where to find the whorehouse. Text me their number and maybe I can push them. Now give me the address to the meet. No. Be careful. Careful, careful, okay? I should have been up to get you to Oslo. Can your parents wire you money? I think so, yes. What would you do without money? I have a big emergency fund in my camera case. Alright, um, a small emergency fund. I need one ferry ticket to Oslo. Oslo? Oh, shit. Oh, you believe I, I left my wallet in the car? Sorry. What was... Come on. What is it? see something. Should have had me order the ticket. Damn it. Here we go. What's happened? Two women ordering one ticket out of the country? One with an American accent? And the ticket clerks were tipped off. I'm not going home today. <sighs> Sorry. We'll try something else. Pavel, it's Mel. I need something else. The last time, okay? Alright. Call your mother. You're getting good at cloak and dagger. You came alone? Don't overdo it. I'm surprised you're still alive. I heard about last night. It got a bit interesting. Mm. Lost your virginity, too, it would seem. Or do you often push people off balconies, shoot them in the head, and then run them over? I need more bullets. I should imagine. You're ex-KGB, aren't you? Clever girl. You know Hans Dieter? Very clever girl. Look, I, I know more of him, really. A very quick draw, but too quick, some say. Human traffic is lucrative, but certain parties are getting nervous about him. Shaking down foreigners source the wrong kind of attention. People who think life is not cheap, you know. Foreign ministries, the UN, it's bad for everybody, they say. So what can I do for you? I need bullets for this. Nice camera. Can you help me or what? Certainly, but I have a condition. What is it? Your purpose here is to find your father, the one who is going to marry Vladimir. Well, it's your turn to make another movie line. You have me cheering down. <laughs> Americans. Beautiful. Well, I can give you the bullets. And I need you to get a young woman out of the country. No problem. What else? You're being awfully nice. I'm the friendly pottery dealer. I'll give you the bullets. I'll get the uh, young woman out of the country. All you have to do is kill Hans Dieter. Very funny. Come on, you want to do it anyway. I'm not a murderer. What am I going to do? 
Um, something will come to me. False humility does not become you. You've shown uh, your proficiency. I'm here to find my father. He's probably dead. Then I find out what happened to him. I'm not here to kill anyone. Oh, really? Well, I'd say the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. What does that mean? This one's better. Much better. Is that the woman? Yes. After last night's fireworks, the whole city is going to be looking for you. I'll take this car, you take that one. It's all right. You're going to get you home. Aren't you? You have my word on it. But do I have yours? We talk later. A lot. What's happening? Go with them. You'll be all right. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just get home in one piece. If anything happens, meet me at the hotel. Just in case. Use it. Will I hear from you again? Um, I don't know. We're taking you home, little one. But don't be worried. Это слишком мило. Я не люблю, когда вы думаете, Борис. Да. Кроме того, человек их там дочь. Есть определенные штисикни. Imagine that you know this place.
Get her in the damn building. Vladimir. Melissa. Dad. Jesus Christ. Millie. Are there more? What? Are there any more of these people? There's always been that bitch and three other voices, all men. Three? Sometimes more, sometimes less. I, I don't know. You almost took my head off. You're lucky I don't put a bullet between your eyes right now, you lying asshole. Jesus Christ, Dad. You're doing fine. I know I'm doing fine. My feet are done. You got her good. Let's play a little game. You tell me where your friend Melissa is. I don't have you shot, okay? Fine. Have you met my friend Renko? He's very, very good at gathering information. Your computer guy is, he's very good. What are you doing? Evidence. Of a crime? Who's gonna prosecute it? It's what I do, alright? Not like I have too many portraits of you anyway. Everything on there is true? In spirit. You were a spook? Don't be dense. I worked Russia and Germany for a while, yes. And when the Mideast became the hot topic, I retired. Me, Anthony, Mom. I guess we weren't a hot topic. Things were different when I was younger. You've had seven wives. And I've loved every one of them. Christ, did, did you honestly think I was here to, to get a mail order bride? Dad, I don't even know who you are. I never did. You taught me how to fish and ride a bike and do some basic math. I mean, that's our complete history in a nutshell. We had lunch every... Oh, come off it. Am I even your daughter? That's a rotten thing to say, Millie. What are you doing here anyway? Saving your ass. Thanks for that. You got them all in the farmhouse, didn't you? Impressive. And scary. Who taught you to shoot like that? Well, you taught me the basics. I made up the rest. A natural talent. All right, let's get our shit together and leave. I can't leave. I have to go get someone. <laughs> Go, 
He's either going to put her back to work, question her about you, or kill her. Either way, she's dead. Do you have to sound so matter-of-fact about it? It's the way this goes, Millie. Nothing personal. Yeah. I'm calling David. He'll arrange us some air tickets, then I'm going to get her. What? Sound like a field agent. Your computer man wasn't far off. I was working Eastern Germany and Russia, and I had a contact in the KGB. You were an assassin or something? <laughs> the real world doesn't work like that. Nope. Nobody really wanted anybody else to get killed. It wasn't personal. It was just a game. You, know, you, you tell us this, we'll tell you that. You catch our spy, we catch yours. Let's trade. It went on like that for decades. It was a game, but a serious one. Because sooner or later, somebody would do something stupid and sign his own death warrant. How long were you doing this? A long time. A long, long time. Anyway, the Cold War is over. My chief asset in the country, uh, I cut him loose. A sadistic man. But his intel was always top-notch, and he never screwed me. But you screwed him? You catch on quick. What happened? Russia happened. The Soviet Union collapses, and, and I'm thinking of retirement. Thinking about you and Anthony. A lot, actually. Suddenly, Russian unemployment is 80%. Regiment commanders are selling off rifles, tanks, RPGs, name it. Gambling, prostitution. Overnight, Russia becomes 1920 Chicago on a massive scale. Who's Hans Dieter? He was my asset. I made the mistake of thinking we were friends. Tried to get me in on a gun running operation. I turned him over to the Russian feds. They put him away for five years. He wouldn't come after me in the States, but he killed two of my guys in Berlin. Family guys. He cut their hands off as a message. Then I heard he died. How did you find him? Blind, stupid luck. I was, I was surfing for an internet date. Just a date. He just screwed up. An out of focus picture behind a bunch of babes on a New York website. I dug around, saw what he was up to these days, and decided it was no go. And I had a score to settle. That Vladimir woman, she was supposed to lead me to him. But then it all went to hell. And he kept you alive. Why? As a pet. Bleeding me for cash and information. Stole all my money, I suppose. Yeah. It was a game. You were supposed to get killed at the farm. Or tortured. I'm glad you didn't. You also told me this wasn't personal. I mean, to me, it doesn't feel anything but... This him? Jesus, you're good. Yeah, that's him. Hang up. She was supposed to meet you here, right? Yes. What is it? She stayed here? Yeah. We're in danger. You have to assume she talked. By now, Hans has learned that things went sour at the farm. He'll want to know where you are. You're learning, but not fast enough. If your asset is blown, everything you shared with them is blown. She's not here. So what do we do? Go to the window. Do not stand too close to it. Tell me what you see. Um, one man looks like he's uh, waiting for the bus. All right, all right. Cars? Um, three parked, one piece of shit, and the bends, and a beamer, and tinted windows. Assholes. Yeah, one of those will be them. Why are they just busting down the door? If it was on a transmitter, we'd be dead already. Must be in a delay switch. What? Or they triggered it when we came in. Maybe a fuse delay. What are you talking about? The bomb. Fucking bomb? Calm down. I am calm. My feet, I'll be as clumsy as an ox. Top to bottom, left to right, check the room. Start with the bedside table. Um, what am I going to do when I find it? We'll decide that when you do. <sighs> Probably isn't a bomb at all. Maybe you're just paranoid. Yeah, well, with reason. It's here. Otherwise, they would be. Stop. What? Check under the mattress. Um, nope. Damn it. That guy's still waiting for the bus. They're probably waiting for the window to blow out. Um, nothing. I agree. Now what? Just don't want to get this girl. I gave her my word. First, never do that with an asset. She's not an asset. She's a young woman. For the better part of the year, she's been raped and beaten. I told her she would get home. Well, let's turn the tables on these son of a bitches. You still have that man's cell phone from the farm? I took two. Thief. They see us? Yes. Two of them are going to the hotels now. Standard operating procedure. They won't leave the bomb to kill a civilian. It's bad for business. Let's go. Call it.
call it, Millie. I know. Here, let me. It's ringing. He's not picking up. Don't help pick up. He's rushing. He's not answering. Damn it, he's not. <laughs> Of those odds. Set up for single fire. Make sure of your target. If something happens to me, I want you to use the phone and get the hell out of here. How? There's no art to it. Go fast, me first. With your feet. I'll manage. Get to the girls' room. Shoot anything that you don't like, even if it's a woman. Dad. Millie, look, I was an asshole. I still am. But at least we're finally getting some quality time, huh? Lose the shooty, go she polish at the sook. Find her. Etani. Nivrojatna, Devuska. Ja dojžan bol, da žal ne li robota. Što za nam dilat? Pak je tijen i rajake, a ne možak prigajače. Ja za jo njoje tješe prize. Where is Andrea? Andrea! Where is she? She's somewhere downstairs. Jesus Christ, we have to find another way. Um, the fire escape? friend there for this young lady. Oh, not a chance. Deal. Dad. Just as I thought. I'm done, sweetie. Old and done. I don't think this one's gonna heal anyway. Come, Millie, what do you say? Perfect sense, Mr. Maldari is my asset. Fuck you. Millie, please. This is the way it works. We trade. It's the way it's done. No. It's all right. It's all right. Look, someone is going to die here. It doesn't have to be all of us. You see, I'm a fair man. You sick bastard. We fight another day.
Never mind that, David. Look, I don't have the phone and I'm almost out of money. Just give me a flight, okay? I'll pay you back, I promise. Yeah, fine, lunch. Uh, all right, dinner. Melissa? Who wants to know? It took me a while to find you. Who are you? My name's Taggart. We heard you might be in line for a job. I have a job. A photographer, right? Yeah. Well, we always have space for good people. Apparently, you're a real up-and-comer. Which magazine are you from? We freelance mostly. Money's all right, and travel's good. A lot of work out there for someone like you. I'm not interested in right now. All right. Well, there's my number. Call if you want to talk. Good people are hard to come by, and we hear your a natural talent. What did you say? We hear you're a natural talent, Millie.